Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's me. Um, I think a couple weeks ago I asked a poll question on my socials of what you guys would rather see. Would you rather see a date night look or um, see me take makeup from day to night? Well, the votes were like pretty stinking unanimous for date night. <laughs> um, so here it is. This is my version of date night. This is uh, what I do um, for date night. I go over the top. Um, I really am a firm believer in like full glam for date night. So if you want to see what I did, how I do this, stay tuned. Also, if you are new to my channel, I'm Amy just a girl who loves makeup, um, likes to play with it, decided to take a journey and film me playing with it. Um, so yeah, welcome. Uh, okay, we are going to get in it. Don't forget to please subscribe to my channel. Also, hit the bell. There's a bell apparently, um, and I think you can only do that if you're like signed in and subscribed and all that stuff, so you have to subscribe to hit the bell. Um, and obviously my filming has not been nearly as consistent as it was. I was filming like every week and now it's kind of like whenever I get time. So I do not film nearly as consistently as, as I have in the past. Like, oh, every Friday I'm going to upload. I'm still trying to upload every week, but it's just, it's kind of whatever day works after getting editing done and filming done. So definitely subscribe, hit the bell if you want to see more of me. Um, and if you want to see this look that I've done here, this date night look that I'm kind of obsessed with, stay tuned. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we are again. Um, so, obviously, already put my face on. Um, foundation, primer, highlighter, like, everything. So, usually on date nights, my makeup takes, obviously, the absolute longest. Um, it can take me up to, like, two hours, um, depending on how careful I'm being. Um, because... I just like it to be perfect, you know, um, obviously like my husband and I have been together for 15 years, I think coming up. Um, so he knows what I look like, but for us, like, obviously it's really important to like spend time with each other and be our best selves together. Um, so that means that I need to feel like my best self when we are together. So that's why I you know, take a lot of time, like, because obviously, like, if I'm, like, full glam, then I'm going to feel really good about myself. Um, so, that being said, um, foundation goes on, primer, pore filler, all that good jazz, um, and then I use the iconic, um, London drops over that so that I have kind of that shine underneath, um, and now I'm, I'm baking. I did find a new, um, baking powder, which sounds funny, like a new, like, powder, basically. Um, and it's by Beauty Bakery. It's not new, I, but I've seen it. I want to try it. And look how cute it comes in this little, like, flower bag. Um, and it's called Flower. Better Not Bitter. And it's, this is what it looks like. Mine's in the cassava flower. So it's got a yellowish into it. So that's what I'm baking with today. It's my first time using it, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so, um... Yeah, so I'm going to do, obviously, like, full glam, a full glam look. I haven't tried um, something like this. It's going to be kind of, I don't even know what it's called. Like, not really a smoky, I don't know. Like, I don't know what it's called, but that's what we're going to do. So stay tuned. Just getting my game plan. Okay, so first I'm going in with a nice transition color. I'm, I'm dipping into my Jawbreaker palette by Jeffree Star in the color Cone. And... Per usual, I'm just going to do one eye for you guys, um, and then I'll go off camera and do the other one. So just putting down a transition color. Um, so next, I'm going to go in with the color... Hmm, 
Next, I'm going to go in with the color Suck from this palette. It's like a burnt orange. And I'm kind of going to focus it like right in the inner corner. And then like that's where I want the focus. And then I'm going to buff out. Um, because I'm kind of almost going to do like a reverse type. It's like smoky eye type thing. All right. So really like starting there, focusing that color there. Good, perfect, perfect. And then I'm gonna go back in with cone because I wanna diffuse it out over the top here. Like I use date nights to like, like hone my skills. <laughs> I'm just like, I need to look my best. And it, like what I do for date night obviously depends on where we're going. Um, if we're going to a place that's a little fancier, you know, or a little bit more, um, I don't want to say upscale, but like, you know, just fancier. I don't go crazy with my makeup because obviously like, I don't, I don't necessarily think that that's the time and the place. Um, but if we are, you know, kind of going just out to the bar or whatever, like having like, I don't want to say out to the bar because we, we're not really those people, but like if we're going to our favorite brewery or whatever, like we're going to, um, like this is, this would be what I would do. Like a little bit funkier, a little bit more like sassy, do something a little sassy with my hair, that kind of thing. So just went back in with a dark color called Tasty. It's like a dark chocolatey brown. And then like starting out in the outer corner and then just kind of working that in to the inner corner. Again, I'm stopping right when I get to that um, orangey color because I don't want, I don't want to blend those two colors. I definitely want you to be able to see that color. And I'm going in actually with two palettes. I've got my Jeffree Star Cosmetics um, Jawbreaker palette. And then I also have the Urban Decay Honey palette that I'm taking like both. Because I need like from each, each one of these. <laughs> okay. So for all over my lid, I'm going in with the color Golden from that, um, an Urban Decay palette and I'm just putting that all over the place. Perfect. And I'm kind of like blending that with the Tasty, like kind of blending those two together, like making sure that they are blended. And then for my next trick, I'm going to go in with the color Wow. It is like a yellow, like yellow. And I'm going to put that on just like a tiny little brush here. And I'm going to put that right on the inner corner of my eyes. And taking it into like that inner corner. Like I really want this to be bright on this like inner corner of my eye and like mirroring it in with that orange color or I should say blending it in with the orange color not mirroring it okay perfect so I don't know if you can see that but it's like I went all the way into the corner here um, you can definitely use your white concealer to um, make sure like all of these colors pop. I want this color to pop, but I don't necessarily, like I want that to be the focus, so I don't necessarily put a white concealer down because I don't want it, I don't want all the colors to pop, if that makes sense. So then I'm gonna go back in with the color Lemon Drop. It's like a shimmer yellow, and I'm gonna put that over top of that to really make it pop out and like give it something like some sort of shimmery glammy look because that's 
I think the last video that I told you guys I did not want to shine bright like a diamond when I'm at work, but any other time, game on. So, um, it is unusual for me to not have shimmer or shine or anything on my face. So, of course, going over the one spot that I'm going to have pop like that, that's going to be a shimmer. And I think, yeah, I might wet, wet my brush down just a little bit. I don't want that one, though. I don't want to wet that brush. I'm like, I have my setting spray, like, in hand, like, ready to go. All right, I'm going to take my usual, like, just that um, flat brush that's, like, kind of rounded off and um, just spray that with some setting spray and going back in with that lemon drop and putting that oh yeah that's much better yeah that's what I needed and I'm actually like taking it pretty far up into that inner corner because like I said I want this to be noticed like I'm I'm in it like we're going for it and then just going back with golden and kind of buffing out any of those hard lines. Yeah, that is, that's what I needed. Yeah, so obviously like I'm not subtle day night you can though like honestly like like I said if I'm going to a place that's a little bit more fancy or like low-key let's say so even if it's low-key I'm probably gonna do this but if it's a little fancier then I'm going to probably um go a little easy with my makeup um and not like have it be a little bit more timeless but if for the most part, if we're just doing us, like, I really like to, I like to go in. Like, it's time to play. Like, I'm about it. So. That is just me. Okay. Ordinarily, I feel like I would, like, mirror what I did on the top with what I did on the bottom, and I don't want to do that today. I don't. I'm not gonna. You can't make me. So I'm gonna go in with out of my Urban Decay Honey that HBIC color, um, and I'm gonna put that underneath. I put Tasty down first because I always like to have a little bit more of like a sultry eye um, when we're talking date night. Um, but I'm gonna go in with. HBIC underneath and I'm kind of going to keep it pretty close um, not blowing it out too much and obviously like I've brought that yellow into the corner um, so I'm leaving that like I want that whole area to be um, yellow like I want it to be the same basically top and bottom perfect yeah. And ordinarily, like if you guys have been here a hot sack, you know that I would normally blow out my, my lower lash line. So it was like really like, pew, like blown out. Like it would be down farther. I don't want to do that for this look. I'm trying things, doing things a little differently. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to call this look, but here we are. All right, um, so next I am going to go in with, I think I'm going to go in with Flyby. Yeah, I'm going to go in with Flyby from the um, Urban Decay Honey palette. And I carved out my brows, you guys. So, like, I when I did my brows, like, I made sure I put concealer so that they were kind of, like, tight. And that's why they're, like, a little different colors. Um... Because I just wanted, because I wanted to. Like, why else would you do things? Um, just I wanted them to be very, like, shapely and, like, you know, put together. So that's what I did. Okay. 
I mean, it's, is it a video if I don't drop a brush? Probably not. Just cleaning up these ends here, like making sure everything is like meshed together. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I am going to go off camera really quickly and I am going to finish the other eye, do the other eye I should say, um, and then I will come back on um, and I will probably show you guys my blush routine and my highlight routine and then we'll decide on a lip and then we'll be done. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Obviously, I put on lashes. You guys know that's not really something that I do, but for date night, absolutely. Like, I want my eyes big. I want it to be like, bam, like full glam. And I'm sorry, but these are new um, lashes. I am in love with them. These are from Lily Lashes. These are in the style Minkanos. I love them. They're huge and fluffy and dramatic, and I cannot get enough. So, do what makes you feel good. Like, I put on lashes and it changed my whole outlook on life. Like, I think I could probably solve world hunger or cure cancer. Any one of those things. Like, I'm obsessed. Okay. Moving on. I actually can't do any of those things. I don't, I don't have skills. So, uh, here we are. Okay. So, um, Rules of thumb for putting on false lashes. So I have a pair of just cuticle scissors. I think is what they are. Cleaning my mouth because, you know. Um, so this is, you know, what they look like. You can get these from any drugstore, anywhere really. Um, and then I always measure my lashes. So I'll drop them onto my eye first and make sure, you know, that they're just kind of almost into the, the end and then or into the inner corner and then I measure out to the end just to make sure that you know they're gonna fit my eye like you don't want any overhang so like then just hold the lash where it's if it's overhanging a little bit hold it and then pull it off You're, you don't have any glue on at this point and that's when you're, you'll clip it um, if you guys want to see a tutorial of actually putting on false lashes comment down below message me um, I will do like a quick little short video for that because it's not too bad, um, especially with these you good quality lashes, you don't really have to struggle with too much. They pretty much like fall onto your eyes, and you're like, oh, I'm done. Like these, I I didn't have to trim mine. Like I have big, huge eyeballs, so um, I didn't have to trim mine too much. Just trimming up the ends where like you know, like they're manufactured. There's no lash there, like the band, I should say. Um, and then they just pretty much fell onto my eye and I just used like a little like very thin strip of um dual lash glue and here we are and I'm I love it. So moving on, I am going to do my blush. Um just because like I feel like otherwise like I'm just I did nothing for you guys today. I mean I showed you my crazy reversal like inner corner bright eyed thing, but um Normally I chat with you guys more and, um, for date night, like usually like I'm in my bathroom, like I don't actually do my makeup sitting down usually. Um, so it's in my bathroom with like music on my phone blasting, like getting ready. And that's a habit that actually started in college, um, with like my girlfriends getting ready to go out. Um, like that's what we would do is just kind of get the party started. Us just last in music and getting ready and laughing and joking I shared um I shared an apartment with obviously three other girls so you know we had two bathrooms and you know we two of us would share a bathroom so like there you were always getting ready with somebody um and it was fun like playing music and you know like really getting ready to go out so that's a habit that I've kind of continued and so that's what I would normally be doing to kind of like let's get ready you know like making sure that you're just in the best mood because that's I mean that's what's really important before you're going out on a date night with somebody that you love or care about is that or maybe even somebody that you just met like you want to make sure you're at your best because when you are feeling at your best you are at your best and like it makes for a good evening 
Okay, so I just used Lancome. This is a blush duo um, in Sheer Amros and Mauve Mystery. I don't know which is which. I'm going to guess that the Mauve Mystery is um, this side. And then this is like the Sheer Ambrose. That's so like a liquid gel type um, highlight, which I don't use because I don't really understand those. And now I'm putting on um, another Lancome. This is in the Shimmering Pink Pool. Just to throw, and it's like a sparkle, so that's why you throw it on top of like a matte, just to give it a little bit more sparkle and something. Um, so yeah. Next, actually, I'm gonna spray now and then I'm gonna highlight, so. I know, yes, I just drowned myself, that's fine. Oh, and I inhaled that. Well, I mean, it doesn't taste bad, I guess. dry my eye glue too or my lash glue um and that's the other thing too with your lashes like make sure that glue is pretty tacky um before you try and stick your lashes on your eyes like do not put the glue on and then all of a sudden like just whack them on your eyes like let it dry a little bit having some fan malfunctions um let it dry a little bit before you know to where it's like tacky before you try and put that lash on because if it's slipping and sliding all over the place it's going to make a mess you're going to be frustrated and it's not going to stay put for a bit so um making sure it's a little tacky before you put those on that's a, a trick okay yeah so now highlight i I like to shine, like I told you guys. Um, so I'm going in with my Beverly Hill Anastasia Beverly Hills um, That Glow Glow Kit. Oh, oh no. It's broken. Oh. That's like my favorite. <laughs> my bubbly um, highlight in this. And I didn't even drop it, like not even one time. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to get over it. Where's my brush? Here it is. I've been using this brush recently. Okay, so I would normally go in with Bubbly, which is the one that broke. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Like these pans come out, I think. No, they don't. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go in with Dripping Gold. I would normally show you this. I'll have to take a picture and like put it in because I can't lift up my palette because my bubbly highlighter will go everywhere because it's broken um that like hurts my soul i'm just gonna tell you guys right now like that was caught on camera traumatic traumatic incident like i cannot tell you the number of times that i've actually like dropped my makeup and broken it and then like that's traumatic but i think it's actually worse now when i like open a palette up and i'm like i didn't even drop you it's broken anyway um, just again, hitting the high points of my face, um, going over it like, this is, like, I like that kind of wet shine, um, especially for, you know, date night. I like to shine very, very brightly. And, you know, too, like, especially with highlight, like, if you're going to, like, a restaurant or someplace that has a little bit lower lighting, um, I feel like you can go a little heavier on your highlight and still have it look, you know, like natural because, you know, it's going to catch the light just perfectly. So, you know, and I'll try and I might um, post a picture of like this makeup in low light so you can see because obviously like with my like my ring light um, and my mirror light, like there's a lot of light in here. And so you can kind of see, but I want you to be able to see what it's going to look like in natural light. Sorry, I have the hiccups again. Um, and naturally, and then also, um, like lower light. So I'll try and remember to do that, just to take a picture of it. So obviously, I hit all the high points of my face, like kind of anything that like sticks out. Um, so my chin, my nose, um, and then my the top of my brow bones, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> right above my eyebrow and then um the top of my cheekbones as well like and just you know make sure you can be seen from space <sighs> I'm gonna have to like 
try and fix this. I don't know if the... <laughs> I truly don't know if the... No, go back. I don't know if the, like, the alcohol trick works with, like, highlighters. You know, like, where you pour, like, rubbing alcohol into a palette to, like, fix it. I have done that before, and it has worked on, like, foundation. But I don't know about highlighter, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like that's going to, like, make a mess and probably... Maybe not a good idea. Oh, it's, it's, I made a mess. There's a mess everywhere. Okay. Um, so now uh, my makeup is essentially done. My lips need to go on. Um, so I'm going to go back off um, and then kind of finish my look, get my lips on, um, and then we'll, we'll wrap things up. I will be right back. Okay. Here we are. Finished look. Got my cute little top on. Of course, had to do a red lip. Like, it's date night. Like, come on. Like, and I am not ashamed to leave lipstick on my man. <laughs> um, he hates it. <laughs> um, but, you know, like, I just, a red lip to tie everything together, make it dramatic, make it sultry. Um, that's just me feeling at my best, and if I'm feeling at my best, um, we're going to have a good night, you know, because that just makes me feel better, puts me in a better mood, um, so, you know, then we can go out on the town or whatever. Um, so yeah, this is my take on date night. This is how I do it. Um, I have done things more crazy. I have done things bigger. I've also just done a classic smoky eye, um, which I have a video on. So I can link that up here. Um, so this is, this is it guys. Um, definitely one thing I do want to mention with a red lipstick, I, I could go like I could take it or leave it with the lip liners like sometimes I use them um if I'm going to overline my lips obviously I make my lips look a little bit bigger of course I use a lip liner but with reds I always use a lip liner because reds can bleed so um and that you know like they can start coming down so if you are going to wear a red lipstick I would say get a matching um liner because it, it'll be a mess. Um, and I used, like, I used the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Bad Blood. And then I used, this came in, like, a, like, a kit from Urban Decay. It's super saturated, high-gloss lip color. This is in the color Theodora. And then I put over top of that MAC Vamplify. Um, and it's just, like, a really, really red, um, lip gloss so that's it um and I didn't I did use reds that had more of a like that were truer reds that have, were almost had like an orangey base to them and not so much a purple base because obviously I'm working with yellows and and browns so I wanted that to kind of complement those colors if I was working with um blues and like cooler tones then I would probably choose a red that had like those um cooler tones in it so like a purple based red um but yeah and see all right I'm getting it everywhere mm -hmm. um this is it this is my look this is what I would date night and I'm gonna I'm gonna go date night in the kitchen with my husband so that's it guys uh thanks for watching don't forget to slide over to my other socials which will be linked down below and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.